how special is the human brain in this full context of biology? Yeah, I mean, look, there's no getting away from the fact that the human brain allows us to do things that we could not do without it. You can say the same thing about the liver. Yeah, and no, the heart. Th this is this is true, and so and so you know, I, I my, my goal is not. No, you're right. My goal is you're not just to, being polite to the brain right now. Well, you're look, being a politician, like listen, everybody has a everybody use. has a role. Yeah, and it's a very important role. That's right. We have to acknowledge the importance of the brain. You know, there are more than enough people who are um, cheerleading the the brain, right? So so I I don't feel. Like uh, n nothing I say is going to reduce people's excitement about the human brain, and so so I I but emphasize you think it gets other too much things. Credit. I don't think it gets too much credit. I think other things don't get enough credit. I think the brain is is the, the human brain is incredible and special and all that. I think other things need more credit, and and I also think that this and I'm sort of this way about everything. I, I don't like binary categories about almost anything. I like a continuum. And the thing about the human brain is that it by 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 accepting that as as some kind of an important category or essential um essential thing, we end up with all kinds of weird pseudo problems and conundrums. So for example, uh when we talk about it, you know, if you want to talk about um uh, uh ethics and other other things like that. Uh, and and what you know this this idea that surely if we look out into the universe surely we don't believe that this human brain is the only way to be sentient right surely we don't you know and to have high level cognition I just can't, I can't even wrap my mind around this this idea that that is the only way to do it no doubt there are other architectures made on made of completely different principles that achieve the same thing and once we believe that then that tells us something important it tells us that things that are not quite human brains or chimeras of human brains and other tissue or human brains or other kinds of brains and novel configurations or things that are sort of brains but not really or plants or, or embryos or whatever might also have important cognitive status. So that's the only thing. I think we have to be really careful about treating the human brain as if it was some kind of like sharp um, binary category, you know, you are or you aren't. I, I don't believe that exists.